Greetings ladies and gentlefish, and welcome back to Final Fantasy IX! There's only really one thing left to do. Go through the portal of destiny, and take this game down. So, we've taken out death guys, guess who's next? Hello, girly face! I can't believe you beat death guys, and it's even playing his theme. I love Kuja's theme. Well, my time is almost up. Time to die, everyone! Time to take on Trance Kuja. Love the music for this guy. Sounds like Queen, and then it goes a bit weird. I mean, it's the music you've heard before. Right, let's do this. Um, there isn't really that much in the way of tactics with Kuja. We are, however, going to kick off with Mighty Guard on the party. Who's taking a flare to the face? Much less powerful than Ozma's version. We're going to steal off him. Dragon Crest. Anyway. Holy! Have I still got, like, holy damage reduction? Um, possibly, I'm not sure. Doesn't really matter, I don't think. Um, who takes some damage? I honestly didn't even notice. Okay. I am balanced. And there's no point in Zidane stealing. Why am I stealing? Just have Zidane punch him in the face. Now, he does tend to counter with Flare Star, which is going to do damage based upon your level. I am quite a high level, so it would do a reasonable amount of damage. Can't remember if it gets reduced with Shell, which is what I've currently got on me. It didn't even hit everybody. <laughs> that is quite funny. Stole Ether. Um, just wail on him. This is not the hardest fight in the world. And I feel dirty using things like Frog Drop because it goes through Shell, it goes through Reflect, and it does max damage, and it costs me 5 MP. It does not feel very balanced. I wonder how much thievery is going to do at the minute. Let's find out. Dragon Crest. Thievery won't do that much. Uh, Kuja's rapidly running out of health though. Flare Star! A uh, bit of damage taken by Peeps, just gonna heal him up. Frog Drop! Most, well, I mean, <sighs> Kuja's never exactly been the most dangerous boss in the world, let's be honest. 1700 damage to Freya. Thievery! See how much we do. Four thousand and seventy five. That's not too shabby. Here uh just talking my health up a little bit. Today might as well just punch him in the face at this point to be honest. Dragon's Crest Star. Not that I'm that fussed about it, but you know, whatever. It'll do some damage. Did a respectable amount of damage. Just to be on the safe side. Queen is in a trance, which is about as useful as a chocolate teapot. But when you're already hitting for max damage anyway, I mean, meh. Frog drop. They think it's all over. It is now. Bye.
but not to be outdone. Ugh, I'm gonna die anyway. I won't have to be afraid anymore. But I'm not gonna die alone. Guess what he does? You're all coming with me! He casts Ultima on you again. Same thing you did last time. to the crystal. Where is this? You stand before the final dimension, and I am the darkness of eternity. But who are you? All life bears death from birth. Life fears death, but lives only to die. It starts with anxiety. Anxiety becomes fear. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. The only cure for this fear is total destruction. Yeah, this is very much the dark side of the force, isn't it? Welcome to your nihilistic final boss. Pulled out of someone's backside, they did a Final Fantasy IV on you, for anyone who's played that one. Kuja was a victim of his own fear. He concluded he could only save himself by destroying the origin of all things. The crystal. The heck are you talking about? Why are you telling me all this? Now theory is undeniable. Kuja's action proves it. All things live to perish. At last, life has uncovered this truth. Now it is time to end this world. What do you mean by that? I exist for one purpose. To return everything back to the Zero world, where there is no life and no crystal to give life. This is ripped straight out of Final Fantasy IV. Having now played that game, it's a little disappointing. In a world of nothing, fear does not exist. This is the world that all life desires. Who the hell do you think you are? You're not ending anything. Never, not as long as we have the will to live. And believe in the heart of the cards. <laughs> Foolish creature. Your fears have already deluded you. One day you will choose destruction over existence as Kuja did. When he sought to destroy the crystal, the purpose of life ended. Now, come, enter the zero world that you desire. No! We'll destroy you and prove you wrong. And through our memories, future generations will see that we can overcome any fear. We can't give up now. We have to fight together. Even if we lose, it doesn't matter. Our memories will live on inside others. No, they won't! To the point that I dropped my controller. So even if we are born to die, I'm not afraid. I'm gonna live! So then you get to choose a party of um, four characters, basically, uh, who have all been reduced to one health because Kuja ultimated you in the face. I'm just gonna keep the same party. Don't screw up. So, your remaining characters, there'll always be an interaction where they're kind of, though I am unworthy, accept my powers. They're kind of, I don't know how it works, but giving up a portion of their own power to revive your characters, I'm, I'm, I'm really not following. Uh, it's just, you go through this. Each of the characters you're not using, I'm sorry I couldn't do anything, good luck. Ends up like doing this strange empowering thing on the characters you are using. You can play around with different parties and they'll each say different things, but yeah, go figure. Yeah, please accept my powers. You also have an opportunity to fiddle with people's equipment and abilities and notice you have been fully healed. And you are on a location called the Hill of Despair. How lovely. Now I'm not going to because I've already equipped my stuff. I, uh, yeah, it, it's very... Yeah. We've come too far to lose now. Let's just wrap this up and go home. All of us.
Right. Last boss in the game. He doesn't use standard boss music. He doesn't even have Kuja's theme. He has his own theme, which has been playing all the way throughout. Is a chap called Necron. Basically a giant... Weird... Angel thing? I don't know. The game just pulls this guy out of its backside. Um, similar to... I mean... I can kind of see what the game was going for. I just... I just... I've never thought it really works very well. Yeah, I... Uh, anyway. Never mind. We're just going to kick him in the face. So... The whole game does revolve around the fear of death. Yeah, sure. Mighty guard on everybody. Right, blue shockwave reduces a character to one hit point. Not the most dangerous of his moves by any stretch of the imagination. He casts protect on himself, which is amusing, of course, because it does nothing against frog drop or dragon crest. Um, or thievery, so I'm just going to whack him with thievery as well. He'll also cast Shell on himself, which again, these abilities completely ignore, because they're totally balanced, right? And there was a little bit of damage from Thunder of all abilities. And I'm just going to pummel this guy. Now, Necron is, in my opinion, harder than Transcuja, because he has that kind of pseudo Ozma RNG thing going on. Uh, he uses moves, uh, his, his signature move is Grand Cross, which does a hideous bunch of status effects on your party. Oh, speak of the devil, he's going to use it. You're never quite sure exactly what it's going to do to you, but it's very rarely good. Um, so I'm just going to keep Queena ready to throw remedies at the entire party. The move's pretty, if nothing else. He also has Neutron Ring, which does damage to your entire party, but Grand Cross is really the kicker. Hurts. That's why I wanted to protect all my party from as many different status effects as I could. Now, Angel Snack, let's get rid of all those status effects as best as we can. Frustratingly, it looks like two of them have been afflicted with zombie of all things. I'm not sure if the remedy is actually going to help there. Now that I think about it, it's probably not. Might just have to throw magic tags at them. Never mind. Um, which means their auto regen is slowly going to kill them. That's going to be a pain. <laughs> Stop giggling! Don't you laugh? It's not funny. It's not. Um, so. Let's get rid of the zombie. Um, where the hell are my magic tags? There they are. Viraga. Okay. Freya took a little bit of damage, but I can't really be too worried about Flare. He's really spamming these moves like a son of a gun, isn't he? Meanwhile, Ico and Zidane are slowly dying, because well, quickly dying, because auto-regen. Angel Snack, is this going to work? Probably not. Pretty sure. Magic Tag's the only thing that's going to cure zombie. Yeah. Come on. No, don't use Neutron Ring, because it's going to take more time, because animation sequence. And Zidane's going to end up dying as you use it, and probably Ico as well. God frigging damn it. Yeah, they're both dead. Great. Okay, fine. Got screwed over by a zombie. Okay, let's throw that on Ico. Kiraga. Yeah, cured, killed by their own regenerative powers. Yes, I know. It's really irritating. <laughs> Have a Dragon Crest to the face, mate. So, Necron is never really an easy fight because however well you prepare, he can do that. And your characters end up killing themselves. So, go figure. Right, Ico, you're back in the fight. What do you mean it missed? Oh, now I remember. Okay, we're going to have to change how we do this. Right. 
Elixir on Queena. I have never had this fight go quite like this in my life. Um, so, just just to pause it for a moment. The problem is, zombie persists unto death. So if a character dies while afflicted with zombie, you can't resurrect them. <laughs> because any healing effects are reversed. So my healer and Zidane are dead. That's it. There is no coming back, to the best of my knowledge. They are having a permanent dirt nap. <laughs> That's mean! No, I don't want Mighty Guard. Um, what is it I do want? So, basically, Freya and... Queena are just going to throw damage at him until he dies and hope that their own regenerative abilities keep them alive and speaking of dead why defy your fate he has now succumbed to the inevitable he doesn't have quite as much health as Transkuja and or as much as um, he, he did die to frog to the faith I believe the will to live that powerful! Or it might have been a dragon ate his balls, I'm not sure which. Pepe indeed. <laughs> and the arena you are on collapses. Or disintegrates. Eternal! As long as there is life and death. Bye! <laughs> Boom. Welcome to the Aoife tree again. Well, that looks encouraging, doesn't it? Are you alright? Yeah, but look at what's happening. So what Kuja said was true. The ether tree is beginning its violent reaction. What's going to happen? I don't know, but it doesn't look good. I doubt anyone could have survived that explosion. No! Captain! They are still alive. What? Where are they? Over there. I love her matter of fact. They're still alive. Stop being stupid. The Hildegard is probably closer. You, the tall one. Sir, Hagen, Pluto Knight 8, Mom. I didn't ask for your name. Contact the Hildegard right away. Y yes, sir, mum, sir. The Knights of Pluto are so incompetent. Please be alive. Sire, we're receiving a transmission from the Red Rose. Punch it up to the main line. This is the Red Rose. You're not General Beatrix, who are you? My name is Makoto. Everyone is alive, you are very close to them. What? How do you know? I can hear him. Who? Because that's not creepy at all. Makoto is good at creepy. Prepare to land immediately. That's the Hildegard 3. Looks like Sid came to rescue us. Sid! Thank heavens you're all safe. Come quickly, we don't have much time. Farewell, Zidane. Ah, damn it! What's wrong? Why don't you go on ahead? I'll catch up with you all later. I have to take care of something. What? He's still alive. He can't be. Zidane, what are you doing? Steiner, take care of Dagger. What? What do you mean by that? Kuja's still alive. I can't just leave him. 
This is ludicrous. Just because you two are from the same planet doesn't mean... No, that's not the reason. Come on, Zidane. Why are you doing this? Because... Because I might have done the same if I were in his shoes. I probably would have fought against you guys and wrecked havoc in Gaia like he did. I know it sounds crazy. But, I know, deep down inside, I have to do this. You not crazy, Zidane. But you go help Kuja, not good idea. He's too dangerous. I can't just leave him. There's no way I could live with myself. I'm going. You're making a big mistake. Maybe. But we all have to make big decisions in life sometimes. For me, now's that time. I have to face up to it. Just like Vivi did when he confronted his fears to find out about himself. That was a big decision for Vivi. I, I don't know about that. I, I don't think it was really a big deal. That's what you think. But I might not be doing this if it weren't for you. You've definitely taught me to take life more seriously. Well, you're obviously not going to change your mind, so I'm coming with you. The principle of knighthood requires that one assist his comrade in times of need. I shall accompany you as well. Whoa, wait a minute. Like I said, it's my moment, so don't butt in. You guys will have your own someday. Besides, you guys have more important things to worry about, like Bermicia and Alexandria. For once in your life, why can't you be honest? Sorry, but I can't, I can't just walk away. It goes against my nature. You're a real simpleton. Forget it, guys. There's no stopping this fool. What are you still doing out here? Get on board right now. Come on. Let's just leave him and get out of here. That guy will never change. Alright, you heard the man. Get out of here before it's too late. Today, I love you. You'd better come back. From a six-year-old girl. Yay! Today, I need to eat more different food. I'm still hungry. You need come back. Take me more places. Show me more food. I still can't believe you're doing this. You've changed, Zidane. Until we meet again. Zidane, you've taught me another big lesson in life. Thanks. Zidane. Princess, we must go. Dagger, I mean, your highness. The abduction is over. I can't take you any further. I'm sorry for being so selfish. No, you're not being selfish. You've done so much for us. Oh. If it weren't for you, I probably would have led a meaningless life. With you, I was able to see so much of the world and meet so many people. We faced many hardships too, but I think I finally know what's important. I'm so fortunate to have met you. I'll never forget our trip together. Thank you, Zidane. Promise me one thing. Please come back. I'm trying to take this seriously and Loki's not helping. Save the life of the man who was trying to kill me. Kuja, can you hear me? I'm coming to get you. You still have time. Forget about me and go. I'll just shut up and stay where you are. I don't understand you. Okay, here goes nothing.
Phew. Still alive. I guess that was pretty crazy. Hey, you alright? Zidane. What are you doing here? I thought I told you to go. Wouldn't you do the same for me if you knew I was dying? Never mind. Your comrades were able to escape? Yeah. I knew you had something to do with it. I'm glad they made it. Yeah, well, it's our turn to get moving. I don't deserve to live after all that I've done. I'm useless to this world. No one's useless. You helped us escape, remember? After you guys beat me, I had nothing left, nothing more to lose. Then I finally realised what it means to live. I guess I was too late. Hey! Don't you go dying on me, alright? Kuja, what you did was wrong, but you gave us all one thing, hope. Not quite sure how we gave you hope, but never mind. We were all created for the wrong reason, but you alone defied our fate. We do not want to forget this. We want your memory to live on forever. To remind us that we were not created for the wrong reason, that our life has meaning. Sometime later. So, this is Alexandria. Pick up the pace, will ya? I don't believe it, Vivi. Vivi? How do you know that name? What are you talking about? It's me, Puck. How could you forget me? Puck? You know, Puck, the, the Prince of Bermesia. Oh, come on, what's wrong with you? If you're not Vivi, then who are you? I'm... Vivi's son! Yow! Look at all the Vivis! Yes, that's right! The nine-year-old black mage has had children, and they look exactly the same as he does. Let's not think about that too hard. I've always talked about you, Zidane, how you were a very special person to us, and I didn't get a chance to read the rest of that, and how important you were to everyone, basically. Freya, you're leaving soon, are you not? Yes, I can hardly wait to see everyone. Alexandria, I went there many years ago. How long will it take to rebuild Bamesia? I don't care. As long as I'm with you. Ah. I love you, Freya. Isn't that sweet? Uh, this is Sir Freightly, yet he still doesn't remember our past. Freya's old flame who suffers from amnesia. Just want to cherish our time right now. Oh. Uh, 
long time away combat related reasons. You taught me that life doesn't last forever. That's why we have to help each other and live life to the fullest. It's time to say goodbye to this room. Save the Queen, you have served me well. My duty is finished here. Farewell, Alexandria. Even if you say goodbye, you'll always be in our hearts, so I know you're, we're not alone anymore. Hey. Why are you going to Alexandria? You're not going? I, I never said that. Hey! Wait! Why I was born. How I wanted to live. Thanks for giving me time to think. Good food, not only delicious. Good food made with heart. Unless you don't like offal in it, of course. This very important when cooking for friends. Depends whose heart's in it, let's be honest. To keep doing what you set your heart on, it's a very hard thing to do. We were all so courageous. Hurry, hurry! We gotta get there before the play begins! <laughs> There's no need to hurry. The theatre ship is no match for my new ship. My new Hildegard is the fastest ship ever. Do I have to remind you? You said the same thing about the theatre ship. <clears throat> That's what you said, father. Uh-huh. Aiko, what did you just call me? Something far worse. Darling, she called you father. Hey, we have adoptive parents. Hurrah. Mother, father, hurry! Just say it again, Aiko! Oh, for goodness sake. Some of this is rather corny. What to do when I felt lonely? That was the only thing you couldn't teach me. But we need to figure out the answer for ourselves. Beatrix, where are you going? Please don't ask, my mind is already set. Wait, listen to me. Um, I, um, I never wish to lose you again. Oh, how sweet. Steiner, let us protect the Queen together. I'm so happy I met everyone. I wish we could have gone on more adventures, but I guess we all have to say goodbye someday. Alright, you scumbags, we're almost there. Been a long time since we saw Alexandria. Let's give them a show they won't forget. Yeehaw! Break a leg, people. Everyone, thank you. Farewell. My memories will be part of the sky. ship will arrive any minute. It's been so long. Can't wait to see everyone. But it'll never be the same. I have to let go of the past. 
I have to move on, just like he taught me. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's performance is a story that takes place long, long ago. Our heroine, Princess Cornelia, is torn from her lover, Marcus. She attempts to flee the castle only to be captured by her father, King Leo. Tonight's story begins when Marcus and Cornelia decide to run away together. And now, Your Royal Majesty, Queen Garnet, Lord Steiner, Lady Beatrix, noble ladies and lords, and our rooftop viewers, Tantalus proudly presents, I want to be your canary. Marcus? Sweet Marcus, I fear I love thee more than I should. Princess, wilt thou be happy married to a lowly peasant such as I? Prithee, call me princess no more. Marcus, wilt thou truly cherish the king's only daughter? Or is such a desire too dear to wish for? After our nuptials, shall I become no more than a puppet? A mindless puppet, never to laugh, never to cry. I wish to live my life under the sky, at times I shall laugh, at other times cry. For no life is more insincere than that lived as a masquerade. So much consideration thou hast given it, but worry not. Cast away the trappings of royalty, and I shall swaddle thee in a gown of pure love. Never again shall I part from thee. Pray, my love, make me thy canary to keep forever in the cage of thy bosom. Let us embark on the first ship tomorrow before dawn can tell of our elopement. All our fortunes set at thy foot, I shall. Ah, it goes too quickly. No cloud, no squall shall hinder us. Oh, love is the sweetest joy and the wildest woe. All I wish is to be by my sweet Marcus's side. Fire shall be war again unless this marriage is stopped. Now will I let their plan come to fruition. Deja vu. We've had all this before at the beginning of the game. How circular. Good day to ye, Highness. Good day. Wist thee of Marcus? Marcus, what news dost thou bring? This. Ugh. Where is she? Where has mine only daughter gone? Blank good man, hast thou seen Cornelia? Worry not, Majesty. I shall make sure Cornelia marries Prince Schneider, be thou at ease. At ease, sayest thou, how can I rest not knowing she is safe? Could it be thou hast betrayed me? By my troth, sir, I betrayed none other than poor Marcus. Thou had the gall to betray thy dearest friend. Wouldst thou not betray me as swiftly? Stay thy hand. I, I merely... I merely sought a lasting peace between the two kingdoms. Blech. The traitor is dead! Oh, cruel fate. You two, quickly find Cornelia and bring her before me. Yes, your majesty. Wretched daughter, how dare she disobey her father's wishes. This is going somewhere, I promise. The time for our departure is long past. Where is Cornelia? Marcus, the ship soon embarks. Board thee is boat alone, and peace could come to both kingdoms, as Blank so said. Speak, Marcus. She told me that she could not live without me. So the sun is our enemy too, the eastern sky grows bright. Will we not spread our wings as yonder birds enjoy us flight? Hark, Marcus, they cannot wait any longer. The ship departs. Could she have betrayed me? Nay, ne'er would my love speak false. I must have faith. She shall appear if I only believe. As the sun lends me no ear, I pray instead to the twin moons. 
I beseech thee, wondrous moonlight, grant me my only wish. Bring my beloved dagger to me. Ah, oh, how sweet. Told you it was going somewhere. What else were they going to do? You're the queen, for goodness sake. Never mind. Yes, there is a queen coming behind you. In reality, the people would be getting the hell out of the way, but never mind. It's alright, there's another slightly dumb bit in a minute. Oh no, my necklace. In reality, I could spend an extra four seconds to go and pick it up. Instead, I'm going to spend exactly the same time thinking, and then ignore it. And throw the crown to the ground, for some reason. Never mind. He's been away from an undisclosed amount of time. Time enough that Vivi has had kids. Um, it's not exactly said how he turns up again. You can only speculate. How did you survive? I didn't have a choice. I had to live. That doesn't answer the question. <laughs> Never mind. I wanted to come home to you. I mean, that's very sweet, but it doesn't answer the question. So, I sang your song. Still doesn't answer the question. Our song. And that was Final Fantasy IX. My speculation is that the um, like Tantalus or someone found him beaten up, washed up on a shore somewhere, and, and instead of just bringing him straight to the castle, they concocted this elaborate scheme where they would bring him along as part of a theatre performance and keep Garnet Dagger, whatever you want to call her, in... Um, like, keep that from her for the next couple of months until they could perform the show. He could well have been in a coma. Um, but it's... I'll be honest, that's one of those game endings that... It feels sweet, but if you think about it too much... <laughs> okay, if you think about it a little bit, it uh, starts kind of coming apart at the seams a little doesn't necessarily make a huge amount of sense. It's, it's there for the feels, not for the logic. Um, and that was Final Fantasy IX. I, it's one of my favourite games, and when I first played it, the ending did make me cry, because I'm a sucker for such things. And I was about 12 or 11 or 10 or something at the time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But then I, I think I cried every time I finished a Final Fantasy game for the first time, so go figure. Um, I'm a massive wuss. But uh, I do feel that the very ending, say, from the point at which after you beat Transcuja onwards, is a bit on the weak side. It's a bit weak, it's a bit generic, it's a bit um, derivative. Yeah, that's looking on it as an adult. 
Sorry? Yeah, I mean, you get a boss from nowhere. There was no build-up to it. It was just... Boss! Um... I mean, that you could have cut that boss out completely. Still had the bit with Zidane trying to go back to save Kuja. Because I actually... I, that's quite nice. I, I, I get what it was trying to do with that. Um... And the rest of the ending, again, try not to engage your brain too much. Um, but there we go. That's Final Fantasy IX for you, ladies and gentlefish. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I, I'm not going to do a game uh, along similar lines to this for a long time. Because this game took ages to do as a video series. Um, so I'm not going to do another game um, like this in a while. Um, we shall see what I end up doing next. Time will tell. Probably something, but I'd say a bit shorter. And a bit less JRPG-like. Um, anyway, I'm just going to let the ending play out for you. Enjoy. And I shall catch you guys in another video. Ciao, ciao.